some Sam Cooke on this Friday afternoon. All right, so earlier we had Kyle Edgar from the White Swan High School boys basketball team stop by, and he just invited the whole community to come have some pozole, some huckleberry pie, talked about what the team was fundraising for, and he wanted to come back and thank those who helped out with the fundraiser at the agency earlier this afternoon. So, Kyle, thanks for coming back and, you know, wanting to do this. It's my pleasure, man. How did everything go? It went, it went great, man. Like made some money. It feels pretty good. Now, you brought some of your teammates back over with you. They must have heard you on the radio and said, hey, Kyle, that's not fair. We want to go on the radio, too. Is that what happened? Yeah, man. I brought Devin Sampson, Craig, and I got David Zuniga in here. Okay. Devin's been here before. I don't think David's ever been here before. David, is this your first time visiting KYNR? Yes, sir. Okay, so you were fundraising. What was that like, being at the agency, meeting, greeting, thanking, uh, sharing your story with the people about why you guys are fundraising? Did you have a good time doing that? Yeah, I did. Felt good. First time being there, meeting different people in the reservation. That was your first time going to the agency? Yep. Wow. That's pretty awesome. My mom's worked at the agency my entire life, so it was just part of my life all the time but i never thought about that there might be some people in our community who had never been there yeah i met your mom we sold her some pozole too oh cool <laughs> that's awesome that's great to hear she's supporting and now when you guys were going into this did you have experience with when you approach somebody and say hello my name is so and so i go to white swan high school and i'm on the basketball team would you be interested in helping us as we raise money? Did you have experience with doing that, or was this all new to you guys? Nope, this is all new to us. Okay, let's talk to Jiron Lopez, who will also be a senior. What is the, the fundraiser for, and what does it mean to you to be a part of the basketball team? What were you guys raising the money for? Remind everybody as we have this conversation. Raising it for uh, go to Gonzaga up in uh, Spokane for basketball. So Gonzaga is one of the top college basketball programs in the nation. Is this camp like the big camp for the summer for your basketball team? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now you have been involved with White Swan basketball for how long? How long have you been playing? For four years. Have you gone to the camp before? No. This is your first time going to the Gonzaga camp? Yeah. How excited are you? Mm, happy. And what grade will you be in next year? I'll be a senior. Now you do football too, right? Yeah. Has your summer been busy? Has it been full of time to be active with your classmates and stuff? Or have you just been at home being lazy and playing video games and eating all day? No, I've been active practice every day besides weekends some tournaments uh pretty much been active all summer so far all right i mean this is different for me I, i've been around you before and i've never seen you so shy and calm and i just it feels strange to me right now this is my job so i wouldn't normally be in this environment and situation but it's like come on gyrone show us that personality you have people are listening right now saying that's gyrone that's too quiet to be Jiron. You did good, though. Kyle, you want to give a, a, a big thank you to the folks who helped with the fundraiser today? We, I think we need to do that. You need to do that. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone that came and supported us. Like Anything helped, and we just really want to go to Gonzaga for that camp. Let's talk to the uh, White Swan boys basketball coach, Saul Ramble before we end the interview. Saul, I've never seen Jiron be so quiet before. Yeah, I, I'd say that's the first time I've ever heard him say less than less than 10 words every time he's talking. So big camp coming up a, a week from this weekend, Gonzaga basketball camp. Uh, are you excited for the guys? I'm excited for them, not only just to go to the camp, but to meet the players, to meet the coaches. And, you know, like we said before, this, this is the Duke University of the West Coast. It's the It's the cream of the crop, so... They can't get a better experience than this camp. Yeah, now, with the fundraising, 
Uh, how does that work? Each team has to pay to go. Is that how it works? Yeah. So they have two options. They can either fundraise, you know, thousands of dollars and choose to stay in the dorms, um, or they can just fundraise for a couple thousand dollars and pay for their entrance into the camp and then find their own lodging. So we'll be we'll be camping out um, either in cabins or in tents near near the university, and we'll we'll participate in all of the individual drills that they have with Gonzaga players and we'll play games about 10 games in about three days and we'll get to get to meet the coaches and just enjoy the entire experience that Gonzaga University has sounds awesome so for the the community members out there they might have kids going to Hera now maybe Mount Adams Middle School uh, you think it's a good idea or something that their kids would love when they get into high school if they want to work hard and have fun in the summers to join basketball, not just boys, but girls too? Definitely. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Um, I can remember from back when I was in school at White Swan, and we went. I was lucky enough to go to Gonzaga team camp um, three years straight and just going there and experiencing the college life and being around Mark Few, legendary coach, and just seeing guys like Ronnie Turioff and uh, you know Blake Stepp and things like that, people like that that will forever be embedded in my memories. So if there's any younger kids out there that are growing up in the White Swan School District, Mount Adams School District, we just really encourage them to get out there and be active. Like Jai Rohn said, we're practicing every single day. And yeah, we're working on skill development, but we're also working on life development too. It's not just all about basketball just being out there is going to help you through life situations as well you must have been working hard all summer with him because he's so polite and quiet and nice i mean he's like a different guy today well you know he's always a polite and and nice guy i think um i don't have any any bad things to say about Jaron, but he is definitely the talk the most talkative guy on the basketball team and he's the jokester of the group so it is uh it is quite entertaining to see him right now just sitting here with his hands hands together and not wanting to say much. He's such a great kid. Sala Ramble, White Swan High School basketball. We have Kyle, Jyrone, David, Devin's here, but he didn't want to speak. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thanks to the community for helping these guys out with their fundraiser. They're headed to Gonzaga next weekend. This is Yakima Nation Radio.